Hello, I'm Oily representing rural communities today. Next slide. So I haven't got um, a lot of hard data. Normally I've got all the spring data. And the reason for that is that we haven't quite finished the spring because we started a day late because of me being unwell. Uh, but we're um, almost there on a few items. Um, um, it doesn't look that good with the um, <laughs> the, uh, the in progress, but actually uh, the in progress is almost there. So the download site migrated and updated. This is not done because it's going to happen just after the minor upgrade on the um uh 12 or after 12th of june um so that's planned for for the next sprint now but everything's pretty much ready a lot of work has been going on this sprint and fixing any um things that um victor and Eloy worked out together um proposing a solution for structuring and filtering experience for the plugins directory users we'll talk a little bit more on about that in the slides uh but um this has progressed a lot because um, um but it's the first time we're going through that process so it's taken a little bit longer to set up the how we're going to consult the users run around this um so the idea is that hopefully the first week of next print we'll have um, um some prototyping going on so we can do development on that aspect in the next print as planned uh, improvements to the user interface of Moodle.org, loads of um, things that we'll, we'll demonstrate in a minute. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk us through it uh, to, uh, in terms of user interface. Uh, and all done uh, brilliantly. Uh, so developing a plugin to remove inactive users' accounts. And um, uh, so that's been done and tested and staging. So it's kind of almost there uh, at the moment and will be actually um, um, completed next sprint and creating the Moodle.org active user reports. Uh, that's working fine because we're now using the default Moodle site statistics for user active logins, which is very reliable and we're happy we found that basically. And the last one is the one that we didn't complete this sprint and will be completed uh, next sprint. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so I probably, if Aya is here, I'll let her yep. uh, introduce these changes. Thank you, Ali. Hello, everyone. This is Aya. I'm a developer in the community team, and I will take you through some of the Moodle.org improvements we have done this sprint. Uh, so we have uh, now an improved look and feel for the statistics we have in our Moodle.org front page. Uh, we have linked it to the uh, original stats uh, site for Moodle.org. Uh, we've also changed uh, the heading style uh, for uh, the plugin title. The plugin title was uh, using a font that uh, wasn't very clear in some, um, in some letters, so we changed that and it's more accessible now. Uh, something else we have worked on is the metadata for when, whenever you share a link from Moodle.org, it was not showing the correct uh, Moodle logo. This is now fixed. And uh, we've also updated the, the content translation plugin so that whenever there is an updated content on, on our Moodle.org site, uh, you don't see the outdated um, information or content. You now see it in English until a translator is updating that and adding uh, the, the most recent content. And uh, we have updated uh, um, some content in Moodle.org for the roadmap and featured projects. Uh, next slide, please, Adrian. So this is the stats on the front page. It's now linked and you can go to the uh, stats site and see the whole uh, information. Next slide, slide please. Yeah, and this was the, the changing of the title. It's now more accessible as you see in the below image. Next slide, please, I think. And this is the metadata change. Uh, it's now showing the correct uh, Moodle logo for whenever you share uh, a foreign link. Next slide, please. And this was the change in the Moodle, uh, Moodle roadmap content. Um, I think early you would have more information about this point. I mean, it's just uh, just updated, and now we're going to make sure uh, every kind of planning week we've got all the content updated in there. So that's it. Great, thank you. Uh, next slide, please. I think back to you, Eli. Uh, yeah. Oh, Federico, if you're here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello, I am Federico. I'm the UX designer from the committee team. For the community team, uh, yeah, I asked early to make like a quick jump here to 
um, basically to speak about uh, like the progress so far, because that uh, screenshot that you see there is basically a link for the users on the plugin directory, so they can join to an activity to share feedback on how they use the plugin directory. So this is like the first step on how we can improve like real, um, real traffic on the site to improve the experience on the site because we're, we wanted to improve the plugin directory and we have different solutions for it, but uh, we wanted to gather some uh, user input. So definitely this is like, um, it's, a, it's a big step because we're getting uh, some input from the user. Uh, we set like different tasks and def like the results, we don't have like many users going through all the activities. So not many users have actually finished the usability testing, but definitely we are, we are learning a lot, like what kind of challenges we share with the community and how they give feedback to us so we can we can actually improve it. So uh, definitely it's a like, big step forward and I hope like we can actually bring this um, process on how we can gather feedback from the community and this being part of the actually design process. And so we are not going actually slow. This was the first time and we did some estimation, but it was a bit hard on the start because we have to do many things for the first time, but uh, definitely we want to bring this into a smooth design process so we can actually improve the site with all the feedback. and. We have feedback, a few users, not many, but definitely has been like super, super useful. And it's really nice to see the feedback from the community members and to see that they are like uh, keen to help. So that's really nice, yeah. Thank you. Get back to early, or maybe we have another slide. I think it's probably yeah. so just here. It's a whole team's demo in today, it's not me. Yeah, hello, I'm Victor uh, from the community team. Uh, Moodle.org has a, a vast uh, user table, around 5 million users, which, uh, which has been causing challenges in, in terms of uh, managing users and loading pages in a tiny manner. So we, our first act action uh, was to create uh, a specific and isolated script to remove a significant number of users that are already deleted but and that who have had no activity on the site so it's safe to remove them and we are also being working in a proactive manner to implement a plugin that will continuously remove inactive users from the system uh, the development of the plugin is nearly complete you can see that the the workflow that it will follow and we are now on the final stage of testing before we can try out in the staying site. Uh, by regularly removing inactive users, we will be able to keep the user table more um, manageable and ensure better performance for all users on Moodle. Uh, next slide, please, Adam. Uh, as uh, already mentioned before, we are now on the final stage of preparation to proceed to the, with the migration shortly after the uh, next minor release next week. A uh, short on time will, will be necessary to migrate some statistics and a few essential database tables, but it should be a couple of hours, uh, we hope. And we have uh, already set up two new sites on our Kubernetes infrastructure. These sites, the, these sites will host the Moodle instances that users will access to download Moodle packages. And additionally, additionally they will serve the, uh, as a, the platform for our updates API and will store certain static files. And um, after we have this new infrastructure in place, the current download server will be NAMET packaging and will be dedicated to just to packaging the uh, the creation of the package and mainly will serve as a, a file server. This separation of tasks will uh, enable us to optimize uh, the performance and streamline our operations and minimize costs. Um, well, that's me. Over to you, Alvin. Well, the, the, does anyone have any question? 